I decided to every week play one different game, whether or not we play through it is beside the point. Um, we did it with like Life is Strange, um, which turned up turned out to be a full playthrough. Um, so that was cool. And so every week I just randomly pick a, a game, we play a little bit of it. If we never go back to it again, so be it. So that's what this is all about. The poll we have going on is for what uh, game we will start in the next open spot. So if you want to see Metroid Prime, vote for Metroid Prime, and I think that's going to start, uh, oh wow, yeah, there's been six votes and there's one different one on all of them. The winner of that poll will probably start in two, three weeks, because of, uh, with next week me being not able to stream at all next week. But anyways, let's just get right into tonight. Tonight's a little bit different, maybe not be something that anybody's interested in. I ended up working late. I'm really worn out and tired from yesterday and today. I don't want to think very much. I don't want to really have to pay attention. I just want to sit back, relax, and play a little bit. Because uh, then we got tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. Tomorrow we've got Perfect Dark, and then Friday, Saturday, we've got KOTOR. Um, yes, we have done Wind Waker. The next Zelda game that we're going to do, uh, we are going to start another Zelda game soon. We're going to do um, Twilight Princess is the next one we're going to do. I'm just trying to see how it all works with fitting it into what I have planned, slash actually buying the HD version of it. So, but anyways, tonight, like I said, just going to be kind of laid back. I'm just going to sit and play a little bit, kind of in the same vein as Limbo where we just played through Limbo a little while ago. Tonight we are going to try a little bit of The Adventures of Hip. I know nothing super exciting. It's just a little uh, a little platformer that I've had for a while in my Steam library, seeing as I have everything packed up ready to go, so the only thing I can play is Steam. Um, and, oh, and I've got my Xbox here, but pretty much my PC and Xbox are the only things I have left. Everything else is packed away, so. So, we're going to play a little bit of this, then let's just kind of get into it, then. The music you're hearing here, as always, is Anna Music. Check them out at animusic.com or over on a YouTube under Anna Music. And we should be able to bring in the game volume here a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Get that uh, going. So, yep. Yeah, we're going to play a little bit of this tonight. It's just a fun little... A little loud is what it is. It's just a fun little uh, platform adventure game. It's got a little story behind it. So, that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> sure I'm testing out all the sound so let's get to it I haven't really played it I just played a little earlier to make sure everything's working correctly with the controller and whatnot that seem like it is pretty loud once upon a time there existed a kingdom that could fit into the palm of your hand like other kingdoms those who had more pixels lived in luxury the rest lived humble lives like I said, I don't really want to have to sit and think and figure things out because I am sore and tired. Legend has it the kingdom was once saved by a princess who created pixels from nothingness. One day, a princess Adeline was born with such an ability. This brought joy, but also worry. Uh, for in the darkness lived Queen Derizia, who wanted to harness such power. On Adeline's 16th birthday, Queen Derizia attacked and absorbed all the pixels. So how are you gonna how are we gonna play if all the pixels are absorbed? Queen Derizia kidnapped the princess as all watched helplessly in terror, except one. I'm guessing Pip. His name was Pip. Born a single pixel. He had nothing to fear. This is where his story begins. Pip, Pip. What's up, G-Shot? So, yes, yesterday, I was my day off, but I was here 
boxing stuff and I got under the house to do a little bit of uh, insulation kind of putting insulation back to where it's supposed to go um, and it didn't go too well and the crawl space under the house is very for one claustrophobic two filled with bugs and dead things and it was gross and it uh, was very short so I had to be bent over and squatting and so I'm just I'm worn out and tired and so that's why we're playing a simple easy game tonight <clears throat> pip plup <laughs> Hip, get up, you lazy doorstep from doorstop. Oh, I'm not on the game screen. There we go. That would help. So here we go. So you move around with the thumbstick, you jump, and that's all we do right now. Don't you feel that shaking? Good thing you're not a ball or you'd be on the floor. It sounds like it came from the castle. I bet Queen Derizia's back. Get out there and find out what's up, and uh, get me something to eat on your way back. X, what are you doing? Get to it. X, press A to jump. There we go. See, I know the, the basics, because I played this beginning part a little while back. When I downloaded the game, but we've never actually played it. So, I know you collect these things for, like, money. And whatnot, so... Hold A. Oh, to like glide. Ah, cool. Hold A to pounce off the guys. Yeah, yep. There we go. Ah, no, 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 no. no okay. No, 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 no. Oh, it just stops. I see. They wouldn't kill you here in the beginning. I mean, I guess if you hit those spikes enough. What's up, dude? Berto. We're steel when we need him. Hey there, Pip Squeak. How's it hopping? Get it? Because your name is Pip and... Ah, uh, never mind. You should go find the guards and let them know about all these skull squids. Did I said skull squids? What, me? Uh, I would, but I pulled a pixel last night. Ow, oh, high-res problems. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Fucking up on all these dudes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, it's a collectathon game. Oh my god. So, can I keep hopping on them and get more and more money? Oh crap. Why do you have to do this game? Oh no. I can just get unlimited monies. Oh no. This isn't good, guys. All right, let's go. Oh crap, that's a lot. Oh my goodness. All right, now let's go. Let's not worry about this. Okay, good. Thank you. Ooh, treasure. Oh really? That's all it was. I got more out of the dudes than it did out of the treasure box. Everything look, sound all right. The sound is the one thing I didn't really get to test. So, ooh. No, they are high res. Well, well. <clears throat> Nick Pip, me! Exactly, the adventures of Pip. What is up? Is this, uh, well, well, is that any way to greet a lady of my resolution? No need to get up. I'll see myself out. I'm done here anyways. It was unwise to try and hide Prince Adeline from me. So this is her being taken the the story was talking about art right, now that i have her power i control the bit stream and its limitless energy observe oh no oh oh ooh, dudes sorry what you don't know about the bit stream that life energy that flows all around us though the force try to keep up soon the entire kingdom will be nothing but scattered pixels Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start small by reducing each of you to a single pixel. Ah. No, they're like me now. Ah, that felt good. You enjoy my handiwork? King Blockhead and his square little queen. Perhaps we can write letters on your sides and small child can stack you. Ha <laughs> ha, Queen Dorizia, out. But what is up, Nick? How are you tonight? I've got the game volume like almost all the way down and it seems like it's still really loud. I'm sorry. 
King says, what is your name, young Pitzel? Pip, please run and find the hero to save my dad. Well, I'm going to be the hero. This game's about me. Oh, I got to click back on the game screen. All right, me. What are you still doing here? Go and find a hero. Find someone more brave and capable than you and I. Well, I am one. Please excuse the King's temper. He's been inflexible long before any spell took his limbs. Queen Dorizzi has taken my precious daughter to a castle. Oh, if only Sir Cad. Here to rescue her. <clears throat> I feel bad for these dudes. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Who was that? Is that checkpoint? I'm guessing. What's up, guys? Oh, you're running. Run away. Start a new job today at Kennedy Entire. Full time hype. Nice, dude. Oh, they're all turning into pixels. And the music's changing a little bit, too. Ooh, what's this? So, can I turn up the, uh... Nah, I think it's alright. I think we're good. Alright, I think it sounds alright. But yeah, I did see that our poll has six votes, and it's one different game for each of them. Yeah, but we'll be starting that, uh... A couple weeks. Once I get moved in, and... And everything. Oh, I haven't seen this. World 1 1. Is that what it's going to be like? It is. It's Forest 1 1. Ooh. The town, the forest, and there looks like there's one, two, three, four, five areas. Up. So just the regular seven. Okay. You voted as well? You voted Witcher? Before or right now? Because still it shows six votes, so. Oh shoot, I didn't uh, update the information to show what we're playing. Didn't it? Was I supposed to send out a tweet too? Did it not get sent out? Oh, it is. Okay, just announced. Yeah, it did get sent out. Okay, cool. Alright, so we should be up to date. Let's go ahead and play this for a little bit tonight. I'm not gonna go too late. I got an early morning, but wanted to get a stream in tonight. <clears throat> well, now we got uh, some kind of basic music going on. A couple days ago, you voted cool. So, seeing as you're my sound guy, Nick, how does it sound now that the music's uh? Not so loud. Thanks for saving me. Many more of us have run off from the castle. Please help find the others. All right, so that's what the things are up there. Three people in this level. Small pathetic cube, why do you pursue me? Surely you understand my power. And you do this for your king? One who might use you as a footstool or to prop open a door? Sounds good. You voted Metroid Prime. I guess you did, yeah, because you said you wanted to see Metroid. Soon I will fix this cruel world by making everyone the same resolution, except for me, of course. Girls gotta look her most high def. Now be gone. <clears throat> no, what's the big red chest over there? I want that. Ghosts says Pip. Pip. Any hidden stuff? No. <clears throat> Big bug here too. Yeah. Ooh, is it him? Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you, even though you were just calling for me. Thought perhaps you were a tree stump. Let me introduce myself. I am formerly Sir Elwyn. El Elwyn, yeah, a brave and noble knight. I protected our kingdom from a, a treachery of these dark woods for many years, till these filthy beetles took the land, and with it, my life. Back, filthy beetle. But enough about me. You, Pip, you are the hero foretold in an ancient prophecy. Only you can restore order to this land, to the land. And with that order, finally free me from my afterlife. <clears throat> but to accomplish that, you first need my gift. You're such a square, exactly. Put out your hands. Ha! Sorry, I forgot. I bestow upon you, Pip, the power of Bitstream. With this, you can evolve and gain new abilities. Oh! 
Look at that. We're officially. Oh, yeah, punch. Ooh. Oh, wait. Now, how do I. Crap. Holding B did that. How do I get back? Oh, no. Did I mess up by doing that now? Inventory. Boots. Upgrades. So there's three boots and a couple upgrades. So, crap. Did I just mess up by changing into a thing again? Hold on. Hey, do you see that creature? The one that looks like it ate a light bulb. <clears throat> well, it's actually glowing because it's connected to the bitstream. Defeat these glowing beasts to absorb their pixels and evolve into new forms and abilities. Just might help you get out of a sticky situation. Excuse me, see, like I said, I am pretty tired. Uh, or a spiky one, or a lava y one. Okay, so now I'm human now. Nice wall jump. That was just a test. Nice. Awesome. X. A. A. Nice. Is it safe to return to town? Oh, excellent. I can reopen my shop. Please stop by when you can. Thank you, dude. Ooh. So, I can... Okay, so it just slides down. What's that line in the... Weird, weird line in the graphics. Um... Ooh. Um... Supposed to go this way? Oh, I can get around to this. Oh, it's a smorgasbord. Yeah, it looks like that's just... Part of the graphics in the game, I guess. Maybe something to do with my computer or the resolution I've set at. I don't know. Whatever. Not a big deal. <clears throat> I'm just happy enough to be able to actually play games on my computer now. Oh, I forgot he was there. Can I, like, butt bounce? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's a time thing. All right, pick one. I wonder if each color. Oh, you can punch trees to get stuff. I wonder if each color is a different amount, or if the size matters too. If it's just the size, or if it's the uh, the color as well. Oh, I can hang on to the wall by holding the direction. If I let go, I slide down it. Interesting. Cool. Okay, cool. So yeah, punching trees, I can get money. Hold LT or B. I see, okay. And then in order to get back, I've got to find an enemy that's got a uh, thing. I've got to have a long day tomorrow. This game looks sweet to have a good night, guys. Well, thank you for stopping by, Nick Pip. I appreciate it. And yeah, we may someday come back to this. I don't know this is just one of our weekly random things so it's up to you guys if you want me to continue these weekly random stream games that we've got going on so oh, was that a, oh so that was our third person we just collected but they didn't say anything <clears throat> am i gonna do There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, end of the level. Ahoy, Pip! Still alive, I see. Well, that's fantastic. What you're looking at is a conduit. These allow you to teleport to any previously visited areas. Perfect for bathroom breaks. <laughs> do you need to use the bathroom? No? Okay. Start teleporting back to town and visit the merchant. His wares will supply. His wares will surely help you on your journey. All right, back we go. Cleared. Go. Perfect. 
trying to do a three heart run of Wind Waker HDR, really. I was never that good at uh, the Zuldas to be uh, that crazy. My friend did. One of my best friends did a lot of the Zelda games on a three heart thing. I know Wind Waker for sure he did uh, a three heart on both you know, the first Wind Waker and then Hero again. And I think he also did it. Ah, oh, crap, I can't remember. I know Wind Waker was a big one. Sorry, I'm just getting a drink here. Let's go. Let's go back and ah, I gotta go over them. At least the music doesn't stop when I click off of the game, which is nice. I wish all the Steam games would do that. All right, merchant, what do you got? Thanks for saving. Thanks for trying to save the world, Pip. Want to buy some? That's a good music. Come on in. I've got loads of things to sell. What you need? So we can buy a potion, <clears throat> restores all hearts. Auto potion instantly restores all hearts when Pip's health is depleted, so that's nice. So for a little extra money, you can do an auto. Village detector, looking for lost villagers? Or villager detector. With this one time use detector, Pip gets alerted when the villagers hit the enter room. Treasure detector, bit force, become temporarily invisible against your enemies when you and even walk on lava where you can get crushed in okay under a burning f ring of fire to destroy enemies in your path and only a few left permanently add one okay so we're saving up for that the other things i think i can get by without but uh <clears throat> that permanent hard would be schnaish and i'm guessing yeah we find more people oh hey I cannot believe I'm a pixel. This is so embarrassing. Kelly. So I'm guessing we find people and so I'm going to be able to get like an armor and then there's something else here too. So that. Oh, my stats. 108 villagers. Wow. 38 enemies already killed. Who are you? Johnny, being a pixel isn't so bad. I can still shake it off. I can still shake it off. Hmm. Come on, Pip. You gotta save us. Get good. Get. Give me money. Oh, really? I can't bust open that one? Alright, let's go. Alright. <clears throat> Into the forest we go. Shoot, I wanted to get that one back. I should oh Well, this is this is hardly fair. Look at these blocks right in your way. Queen Dorizia is quite a cheat. Thankfully, they appear to be made of pure bitstream energy, and not stone. Stone would be a problem. First of these blocks, Pip, then de devolve your unleashed energy should be enough to destroy them. Unless you've made, unless you're made of stone, I really hope they're not made of stone. <clears throat> okay, so I can de-evolve, and it'll bust them open. But I want to get over there. There we go. Uh, I kind of want to play Ocarina of Time soon. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. Bang! All right, there we go. Now, the question is, can I get up there now? No, I can't. But I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get all them little monies. Gotta have something over there. Yeah. Just on the edge.
<clears throat> hey, buddy. Yeah. I really like the music. Nice. Every once in a while, there'll be a little bit of a, an 8-bit kind of sound in there, too, which is nice. What can you buy with the money? Well, we were just at the store. Um, we can buy, like, invisibility, po invincibility potions. We can buy... Uh, if we save up enough, if we save up for $2,000, we can buy a permanent upgrade to our health. We can buy a uh, villager detector that'll tell us X. Oh, I see what it's doing. Uh, where, where it will tell us where a villager is close by that we can find. And it'll show a... Uh... Oh, there's a butt bounce. Oh, nice. A treasure detector, so it'll let us know where treasure is. Just basic stuff, really. Which I don't really think I need a lot of it, but we'll see. <clears throat> I want to get the money from the tree, so. I think I can... I don't know, there's a separate thing up there. Huh, okay. Oh, I can't. Now that I came down here, I can't go back up though, because I can't hit the... Eh, oh well. If I don't find every villager and every secret, it's not a big deal. Run! I just made it across that holy cow. <laughs> oh shoot. There we go. I'm gonna be tricky. See, unlike Limbo, this has actual like stages and stuff. Ah crap. That was my first time I got hurt in this game. Villager up there. What's up? Ooh, more money. I guess not every villager is gonna have something to say. Basically, just wave as a thank you. And we're out of number two. Sweet. Yeah, we'll play this for a little bit tonight. Like I said, I can't go too late. Can't go too late because I have early morning, so. Alright, 1 3. The game also reminds me a little bit of uh, Trove. A little bit. The sound effects are a little bit of. Um, so, jumping down there is not gonna be good, yeah. Um, yeah, the sound effects kind of sound a little like Trove, and then, oh no, that's what, this is telling me jumping on these. That's what that is, okay. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what it is. So, I jump higher as a brick then. I get you. Nice. Ooh, hey, we saved somebody. There we go. No, <laughs> oh, wait. I got a bunch of trees. So the small ones, the purple ones, small ones are five. And whether or not the color matters, I don't think so. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to do this. <clears throat> Who's this guy? Yo, dead jolly man. Oh no. 
Oof. I don't know how I got out of that. Oof, I just got it too. Nice. Ooh, all right, what do I do here? Crap. All right, I've got a switch. Wait for that thing to come across. <clears throat> do it that way. Yeah, hey, there we go. Nice. How do I do that? Oh, okay, so I just wasn't doing it good enough. Should be five? Okay, so that's five. I need to do this. Bada bing. And I'm gonna change back. Oh, that was close. Check one. Five? Yeah, so color doesn't really matter. It uh, just has to do with the size of the, uh, the pixel of it. Took the took the hit, but it's all right. All right. Come on. get there so it doesn't change me jumping off of that it doesn't change the height Ooh. oh uh, how do I do that well, I guess that really doesn't matter because that's where you're supposed to do it. I did it this way. Huh, interesting. Well. <clears throat> we stop at the wall. All right. I mean, to start off, it is somewhat simple oh yeah I got that had to do it mid-air and then still be holding a so you glide over it's cool only got two that's all right 